Merci Viviane, merci pour tes paroles, mais surtout merci pour ton leadership et ton travail ici comme député local à Sudbury. C'est toujours un plaisir d'être de retour ici avec toi et d'entendre les préoccupations de tes commettants. Merci aussi Marc d'être ici. Tu représentes Nickel Belt depuis, depuis bon nombre d'années pour nous à la Chambre des communes et tu es toujours un, un, un travailleur acharné pour bien représenter tes commettants aussi. David, thank you very much for your welcome here to Health Sciences North. It's Uh, great to see this extraordinary facility that serves so many people uh, across the region and the cutting edge uh, research uh, and innovation and service that is offered here is uh, truly remarkable. Um, Ray Hunt, thank you so much uh, as CEO of NOSM, the Northern Ontario uh, School of Medicine. Uh, we, uh, we see uh, really, really important potential, uh, not just to continue to do the extraordinary work that you're doing, but to, but to grow it. And I'll talk talk about that in a moment. I also want to uh, recognize Paul Lefebvre, uh, the mayor of Sudbury, a former colleague in the House of Commons. Uh, merci, Paul, pour tout ce que tu fais pour uh, bien servir uh, uh, la belle ville de Sudbury et, Sudbury et bâtir uh, un avenir plus fort pour tous. Uh, avant de commencer, uh, je veux souligner que depuis uh, hier soir et ce matin, uh, les Canadiens sont uh, entourés de, de tribus, de souvenirs, uh, de, de souvenirs et de, de récollections uh, de Uh, du service extraordinaire uh, de l'ancien premier ministre Brian Mulroney. Uh, on a des pensées pour sa famille, ses amis, uh, mais on est en train de voir à quel point c'était un homme remarquable qui a uh, façonné le Canada d'aujourd'hui. Uh, je peux confirmer aujourd'hui qu'évidemment, il, il y aura des funérailles d'État uh, pour uh, l'ancien premier ministre. Uh, on va partager des détails uh, en temps et lieu, mais on est en train de travailler avec la famille pour s'assurer que Uh, tous leurs souhaits soient, soient respectés. Uh, mais je peux confirmer aussi qu'il va y avoir des opportunités pour les Canadiens d'exprimer leur gratitude et, uh, et offrir leur hommage uh, à l'ancien premier ministre et à, à sa famille. Uh, before I begin, I want to uh, highlight that Uh, last night and this morning, uh, Canadians have been um, awash with uh, reflections and uh, re memories and tributes uh, to former Prime Minister Brian Mulroney. Uh, he marked uh, the history of this country, he marked the present of this country, and uh, it is right that uh, uh, we all be reflecting on him and on his family uh, today and for many days to come. I can confirm that obviously there will be a full state funeral for the former Prime Minister. Uh, we're working with the family closely to ensure that all of their uh, wishes are, uh, are respected and that it be uh, the right and fitting uh, tribute to him. We will uh, be sharing uh, more details, of course, uh, in coming moments. Uh, but I can also um, let everyone know that there will be opportunities for Canadians to express their uh, gratitude and share tributes uh, to the former Prime Minister as, uh, as the, uh, uh, the coming days and weeks unfold. Les Canadiens sont très fiers de notre système de santé universel public. Euh, C'est une force euh, pour ce pays. Euh, on sait que euh, d'avoir la rassurance que si on tombe malade, on ne va pas euh, devoir euh, vendre notre maison, prendre une nouvelle hypothèque euh, ou euh, devoir euh, être pénalisé financièrement. Euh, C'est une grande force de notre pays. Canadians are rightly proud of our uh, public health care system and it's a strength for us that we know uh, that if we fall ill, um, we're going to be there for each other to make sure that everyone gets the care they need regardless of uh, where they live or uh, of how much they make. But we also have to be honest that our healthcare systems haven't been uh, meeting the mark of uh, what Canadians expect over the past years. Uh, that's why, as a government, we've uh, committed $200 billion uh, over the next 10 years to invest in healthcare systems across the provinces uh, and territories, uh, with $25 billion specifically for tailored agreements uh, with the provinces uh, going at uh, particularly high priority areas. Uh, 
Ici en Ontario, c'est un accord de 3,1 milliards de dollars sur trois ans qu'on vient d'annoncer il y a quelques semaines, euh, qui va couvrir des éléments essentiels pour cana les Canadiens. Tout d'abord, assurer un meilleur accès aux médecins de famille. On sait que les médecins de famille sont une entrée euh, pour, euh, pour les gens euh, vers le système de santé. On a besoin que plus de gens aient accès à des médecins de famille. On a besoin de raccourcir les délais. Euh, les, les temps d'attente sont trop longs pour des, euh, des soins de santé, donc euh, on va raccourcir ces délais. On est aussi en, tra en train de travailler avec les provinces pour embaucher plus de travailleurs de la santé. On a besoin de plus de personnel, ceux qui euh, travaillent dans notre système particulièrement depuis la pandémie, euh, travaille beaucoup, beaucoup plus fort et ont besoin euh, de renforcement. Et c'est exactement euh, ce sur quoi on est en train de travailler. On reconnaît aussi, aussi le besoin d'avoir de meilleurs accès aux soins de, service, de santé mentale. Euh, C'est une grande priorité, euh, particulièrement pour nos jeunes, et euh, d'assurer avec ces accords, avec les provinces, qui va avoir une emphase mise sur euh, les soins euh, de santé mentale. Euh, fait partie de ce à quoi on s'attend. Euh, et aussi, il y a des investissements pour s'assurer euh, que les peuples autochtones euh, reçoivent une meilleure qualité de services et de soins, euh, ce qui est important à travers le pays, mais particulièrement dans les régions euh, comme le nord de l'Ontario, où il y a énormément de communautés autochtones. Tous ces enjeux-là et ces engagements qu'on est en train de signer avec les provinces sont ancrés dans une meilleure collecte de données. We know that as we look to improve healthcare systems and healthcare outcomes for Canadians, we need to make sure it's being measured in a rigorous, transparent, comparable way so people can know what their tax dollars are delivering in terms of improvements to our healthcare system. It also is about modernizing the system, getting rid of fax machines, uh, making sure that people have access to uh, healthcare data and that their specialists or their pharmacists have access to the right information to make sure people get the best quality of care. A huge cornerstone of these agreements that we're signing uh, with the provinces uh, are around better rigorous data collection uh, so that Canadians can know right across the country that they are getting the very best quality of care necessary and that improvements are brought that are brought in in one part of the country can be uh, modeled and taken on in other parts of the country. Uh, this is how we create a stronger system. Of course, we recognize that right across the country, uh, there are different priorities, different challenges, which is why we're negotiating these uh, agreements directly uh, with the provinces in terms of their priorities. But even within provinces, we know there are different needs in different regions. Uh, particulièrement ici, dans le nord de l'Ontario, où uh, les accès aux soins de santé sont uh, plus difficiles uh, que dans le reste de l'Ontario, on a besoin uh, d'amener des mesures spécifiques. That's why we're uh, leaning in specifically on a number of initiatives for Northern Ontario that will uh, make a huge difference. Uh, in terms of the Northern Ontario School of Medicine, we're announcing uh, 30 more undergraduate spots and 41 more postgraduate spots to ensure uh, that there are the healthcare workers and indeed the primary care physicians here in the north, trained in the north, that are going to be able to serve uh, northwestern Ontario and uh, the remote and uh, rural areas that, uh, that are, are, are part of this and are often underserved. Uh, we're also going to be increasing cancer screening through mobile units uh, mm -hmm. across northern Ontario because we know that's a very real need uh, that has been identified for uh, remote and northern communities. Uh, we're also moving forward on uh, better training on uh, anti-Indigenous racism to make sure uh, that every healthcare centre is more welcoming and more sensitive and culturally appropriate to uh, the needs of Indigenous uh, Indigenous peoples. Uh, we're moving forward on more primary health teams uh, across underserved areas in the north. Et bien sûr, uh, ça fait partie de notre engagement d'assurer uh, plus uh, de médecins et de, uh, de, de professionnels de la santé uh, qui parlent Français qui peuvent desservir la communauté francophone ici dans le nord de l'Ontario. Ça fait partie de nos engagements à travers le pays, euh, mais c'est particulièrement euh, pertinent ici dans le nord de l'Ontario. Donc, euh, on est ici pour travailler avec euh, les communautés, avec les experts locaux sur le besoin auquel les gens font face ici. Ça fait partie euh, des, des investissements qu'on est en train de faire pour mieux euh, soutenir les Canadiens pendant ces moments difficiles. Uh, we know, uh, we just uh, announced 
uh, uh, pharmacare legislation uh, yesterday uh, that is going to move forward on ensuring Canadians can, can have access uh, to medications at even better prices, particularly when it comes to family planning and contraception, uh, but also when it comes to life-saving diabetes medication. We know uh, that these are things that delivering for Canadians uh, will take some of the pressures off in the very difficult and challenging economic times families are living through. On top of that, our reduction of child care fees uh, by 50% on our way to $10 a day has made a huge difference in families with young, fa uh, in families with young kids. Uh, in terms of our moving forward on dental care, we know seniors 70 and up are now registering for the Canada Dental Care Benefit, uh, which is going to start delivering in May and is making a huge difference, not just uh, for seniors, uh, but also will make a huge difference for the uh, the uh, uh, half a million young people who have uh, access dental care last year because of uh, our early moves on on uh, on Canada Dental Care. Uh, we're going to continue to be there in ways uh, that are delivering for people here in Northern Ontario and indeed right across the country because we know being there to support Canadians, invest in the future, and prepare for the jobs, growth, and opportunities of the future is what Canadians expect of their government. We're going to continue to do that in partnership uh, with friends and partners right across the country. Merci tout le monde.